Okay, so there's a great new feature um, that Google Calendars allows, uh, which can be helpful for teachers, and that's uh, that you can now attach uh, documents and other things from your Google Drive directly to your calendar, um, which is just a really useful resource when you're posting assignments and what have you. A uh, little bit of a warning, it's done through the Google Labs, which is kind of their test subject area, um, but I it's so powerful that I really can see them keeping this. Anyways, the first thing that you have to do while you're in your calendar, so I've logged on to my calendar on Google. Um, if you go up to the icon under settings, uh, there's, a, there's an option for labs. And um, you might not see exactly this list depending on when it is that you check, but there's this uh, Google Labs thing called uh, event attachments. And you have to switch this labs from uh, disable to enable and then go to the bottom and hit uh, save. Um, so what we've done is we've now enabled this little add-on uh, which allows you to make attachments. Uh, from that point, it's uh, and, and this is also universal, so you don't have to do it if you have different calendars for different classes. Uh, it's up here with your settings for, the, for your calendar. Anyways, from that point, the big difference is that when you go to create, uh, if you make an event, like uh, final exam and just like normal I usually do it all day although I know we do it differently that way you'll see that there's this new button down here that didn't used to be there uh, called add attachment when you click add attachment it's going to take you into your Google Drive uh, your Google Drive will uh, allow you to attach the document just by clicking uh, the the checkbox and then hitting select Okay. Uh, one thing to notice is that the uh, document has to be shared uh, public. Uh, anyone with a link is, is one way that you can share it. So um, you have to make sure that you're not trying to attach something that doesn't have uh, uh, the right access to it. Okay, so then um, everything else is the same. You can do the description, um, which in this case you would say like... Uh, you know, talk about the exam, um, and then you can give it a color and everything like that. Anyways, you're going to go to save, and what we'll see here is that I've got this new event called the final exam, um, and when my users click on it, uh, well, I'm going to be taken into the edit part, uh, they'll be able to see this tat attachment, which is the uh, what you've attached uh, let me show you an example um, on a website that we made. So now we're looking at the uh, public view of sorts. Um, and you'll see the event that I just added, just like in your class. When they go to more details, um, they will see this attachment. And when they click on it, it'll take them right into uh, the document. So that's a really useful way to uh, push out uh, documents that are now going to be tied to your calendar and um, uh, once you can get something into your calendar either on a Google site or just with the embed you can really do a lot with that so again the major steps are uh, uh, activate it enable it in the labs uh, make sure that the document you're sharing is public and then uh, use that attach document button and uh, have your way with it. I think it's a really powerful feature and I can see it being useful for those of us that push out documents and events on Google Calendar and with Google Drive.